Hey, I'm Tom Merritt, uh, host of the Sword and Laser podcast, among many others. And uh, one of the things that happens with Sword and Laser is we get lots of books sent to us uh, by the folks in the publishing industry, which is great. We don't actually do full-on reviews at swordandlaser.com, but it's good to see what's coming up uh, and get a chance to take a look at it. It's very nice of them to send us to send them to us. So we've been trying to think of a better way to expose those uh, to folks. And I've been trying to figure out something to do with this YouTube channel. So I'm gonna try something that for lack of a better word, I'm calling a book haul. Uh, once a week I go and I get the Sword and Laser mailbox uh, and I open it up and find out that we've gotten a bunch of books. Uh, this week we've got two books. So I'm gonna open them up right here, live. Yes, you can see the address. That's okay, it's a post office box. Uh, and uh, let you know what we came up with. So. Here's the first one, uh, and you know, well, this is an experiment, so we'll see how it works. We have to come up with a different way of of uh, opening these, but here we go. Yes, they always have a little uh, press release. This is Artemis Invaded by Jane Linskold. Uh, one of the very best things Jane Linskold has ever done. I enjoyed it enormously, said David Weber on Artemis Awakening. This is the book. Artemis Awakening. Look at that. Look at that cover of it. That's pretty great. Let me see if I can figure out who did the cover. Uh, jacket art by Cliff Nielsen. I didn't even know that. Cliff Nielsen did the uh, cover art for the Sword and Laser Anthology as well. I should have known. So here is the jacket. Created out of bare rock by the very best technology known to man, the pleasure planet Artemis was lost when a galactic war ravaged human civilization. 500 years later, Humanity is slowly reclaiming the tech that allowed it to roam galaxies, and the young archaeologist Griffin Dane is obsessed with this lost planet. He finds Artemis, and what he discovers there has the potential to change mankind's path. However, he's stranded on the planet, and not everyone is as innocent of the tech as they seem. All right. It's a nice-looking book. $26 in the U.S., $30 in Canada. Lots of blurbs. Anything else uh, from the press release? Pretty much the same stuff. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to reveal these, you think? They're not all the rip tops like this. Here. Do it spine out. Philosopher Kings. Oh, Joe Walton's new book. Love Joe Walton. Uh, yeah. Here's the... Uh, News from Tor. These are both from Tor Forge. Uh, brilliant, compelling, and frankly, unputdownable, said NPR, about the Just City, which was not this book, but there you go. Uh, Hugo and Nebula award winning author of Among Others. We read that for Sword and Laser. Uh, got some blurbs from Cory Doctorow on the back. Uh, and Library Journal, Susan Powick. Let's see, they always put the cover out here. Jacket Art, The School of Athens by Raphael. Oh, duh, I could have figured that out, I think. Uh, from the Vatican Museum and Galleries. Jacket Design, here we go, by Jamie Stafford Hill. There you go. All right. 20 years have elapsed since the events of the Just City. The city, created in the Iron Age Eastern Mediterranean by the time-traveling goddess Pallas Athena, organized on the principles espoused in Plato's Republic and populated by people from all eras of human history, has now split into five cities. Armed conflict between them is not unheard of. So uh, there you go. We have The Philosopher Kings by Joe Walton. Uh, I hope this is of mild interest. I'm, I'm definitely willing to take uh, any kind of ideas about what you might want to see when we pull these books out. Uh, and uh, they don't stay in that pile forever. Uh, we, we keep them, obviously, in, until the books are out and on the, the shelves. Uh, and then what we'll usually do is take them to events that we have. Uh, like for BlizzCon last year, I took a bunch uh, and, and did some giveaways and stuff like that. So might come up with some other giveaway ideas. Who knows? Anyway. Hope you enjoy that, and if you enjoy science fiction and fantasy, be sure to check out the Sword and Laser podcast at swordandlaser.com. Talk to you later, folks.